Hey everyone, it's uh, Joe and Isaiah, and we were we're actually working on a tool. It'll be pretty cool. It'll be for doing hot strings and snippets and stuff. And it's really a snippet tool, kind of like a simplified version of QAP. Which, if you're a big QAP fan like we are, uh, it's an amazing tool. But in it, we were discussing having a hotkey in your menus, and this was it was a really interesting thing that Isaiah had actually learned. What was it like ten years ago, Isaiah? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and share? Right. Um, th by uh, the way, this URL is going to be very helpful later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but basically, uh, before I go into that, you mentioned that it was a question that um, I think it was Tippett who asked yes. you, like, okay, I have this issue. I want to verify if the class can do that. And I told you, well, but the menus already do that. And you were like, how is that? Well, um, it didn't make sense with what you right. said. Like, what? Basically, what we're talking about. So if you have a, a menu like this, you have a name in here. And to the right, you can actually put more text to it. And he was like, how do I do that? The funny thing is, and that's why I have the help file opening here, is that when you go here and you go to the menu help file, there is nothing that kind of like explicitly talks about that behavior. Um, and the behavior is, okay, I go ahead and put a name and I want to some, write a line something else that refers to it. Usually what you use this for is to set what hotkey opens up that menu item. So if I click on it, I get this window. But if I press Control N on my keyboard, it also does that. So usually what you do is that you put the name and what hotkey is associated with that command. But how do you write a line that? <laughs> the way how to do it, if you don't know, when you're creating your menus, you grab your menu item, you use a tab character, and then whatever text you want in there. It could be anything you want. So my text, you can do that. Let's restart the program. And now if I open up my uh, menu again, it would say my text right next to it. It can be anything you want. That can change to whatever you want, by the way. So you're not tied to hotkeys or whatever. And, and, and QAP does very interesting stuff with it because instead of showing like a hotkey or whatever, it shows you the name of the hot string that is attached to it. Maybe later you can show that. Or hotkey, either way. Or hotkey. It can be any. Or both. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he uses it in a very interesting way. The answer to the question will be like, yeah, you just use a tab character. <laughs> but how the heck did I know that if the help file doesn't say that? And that's when we were laughing about it, Joe. Um, because you found this. I, I, I didn't even remember about this. And I told you, like, I read that somewhere. I know that I read that somewhere. Um, and I was talking about escaping a tab on a menu. Um, and it cost a box. And I was like, what the heck was going on? And as you can see, I was putting two tabs in here. Okay. Um, because at that time, I think I, I, I wanted to put it as far away mm. of the main yeah. name as possible. Sure. And I didn't know that one tab was going to do that. <laughs> yeah. And even then, here's the first thing is like, why would anybody think a tab is going to write a line something? You know what right. I mean? Like, it was something that was like, what the heck? Does you this said put in a tab. I'm like, why would you put it? And actually, let me go ahead and see what was what, what was happening. Let me see sure. if, if I could just go ahead and see okay. what was the issue, yeah. right? So if I put two tabs, what happens? Oh, now it's working as I was thinking. It, it just made it more far away than when it was before. But now my menu doesn't work. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, so, so because right. now the name changed, it, you have to have exactly the same name on your, oh, right. uh, yes. on your thing, on your yeah. handling is, function. Which is why I use QAP. So I don't have to right. be able to do that crap. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so, so here, yeah. if the uh, menu, if the menu item is exactly that, if I have two tabs, I have to put two tabs here too. If it was not the same, it stops working. That, that's what was well, And then if you have icons as well, it just, you know, it's like, it messes up everything. So <laughs> in any case, um, at that time, I was having a different issue. It was just putting kind of like a little box and somebody was answering and replying. Lexicus went back and was actually referring to it. Um, and he said, like, um, I believe that only the first tab has a special meaning. But he didn't say what the right, special meaning awesome. was. I didn't know. I was like, what the heck is that? And, uh, and somebody actually pointed up to this reference here the MSDN for reference on menus. And that's the reason why you should learn to read this kind of stuff. Because here in this help file, it mentions that 
you have to use escape character backslash tab. But in our hotkey, it would be the backtick tab. That's our escape character. So if you use the backtick tab, we'll do. And then it says, so. Let me interrupt you, Claire, just for a second, because yeah. this is one of the things I think a lot of people get confused on. Right. I understood everything you just said. What I don't understand is how did you know, like, hey, it's I guess it's not like a DLL call where you're doing the command inside of another tool. That's how you know to use this here. Pick mark T instead of the yeah. Right, exactly. So right oh. now, we are using AutoHotKey language to do whatever I'm doing here. So in there, you're going to use their own uh, escape sequences, which is a backtick. Because... We're at this point, we're still in auto hotkey and yeah, we are in auto hotkey. leveraging something built into Windows. But right. But, but basically, tool, yeah, yeah the, their syntax says that it's a backtick. If you are yourself sending a DLL call directly to that function, now you're not using auto hotkey syntax and that's where okay. it gets a little bit tricky right. and you would have to use whatever they use as an escape character or whatever. But in this case, it's just like, uh, backtick T means the same as a, you know, backslash T. Now, he's, they say that the all menus accelerator keys are left aligned uh, or, you know, to the side. So here you have an example. It says open, and then it has a backslash T and control zero. That's exactly what I'm doing on my script. I just put the new command, backtick, and that. And what that does is that then when you have your thing, it actually separates the two sections like this. And I was not really aware of that special meaning for the back space tab. And there is no way to know that right now on the auto hot key. Uh, at least I didn't notice. I don't, I don't find it. I don't know where it is, but I found out that out 10 years ago. <laughs> and, um, Lexicos was actually just go ahead and giving it here. So in, in the day I'll call, and again, let me actually kind of like back tr back pedal a little bit on that. You see that he is doing right. a DLL call, right. but he is the, using a back tick. You know. And that is because the interpreter is, when he reads the scripts, is converting all those back ticks into backslash okay. characters. So basically you don't have to do that. Wherever you put a back tick on auto hotkey would just go ahead and, uh, change that for you. But when you're interpreting the text in here, if they tell you a backslash yep. take, it, you cannot use that oh, literally. Yeah. And like let's that. say if you're doing a regex, and that's why in a regex, you have to in use a regex. what they use, right, of um, for the like Actually, backslash I R. I think, yeah, but... And you, if, yeah. Anyway, it's complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. It's yeah, the, it's complicated. The, yeah. Most of the time, you're going to be using a back, back tick T, yep. And that's just that it, you know, but in general, in the end, they clarified it. I actually fin finished like, okay, you know, it was just something stupid. It was a trivial matter, but it was not an AHK bug. It was that it, that's how it works, but it was not documented. So yeah, whenever you're doing menus, you can just use this syntax to create this uh, right. left aligned name and then right aligned hotkey for it. And you did a distinction. You were saying like, oh, you can, something else is a, an accelerator key. So when you have a menu open, some letters are kind of like highlighted like those. And if you do it through the keyboard, because that's what they are, is for accelerating the process of it. If you hit Alt, open your menu and hit N, it would open the same window as if you do Control N. So doing that, it is an accelerator key and to do that, you, what you use is the ampersand key, like we have it here. If you put an ampersand in one of the letters, right in front of one of the letters, it would highlight it. And if the menu is open and you press that letter, it would open that. It is not a hot key because a hot key is a combination of things, right? A combination would be control N. Right. But if the menu is open, you don't have to hit any other characters. You just hit the N and it would open it, right? So those kind of things are not really directly explained on the help file, but yeah, you can do all of that when you're creating your menu to get to the side. Yeah, part. often I see people, and, and I'm not going to knock it, right? But they will automate programs with auto hotkey using accelerator keys 
which it's better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. However, yeah. it, it isn't an API, right? So it's no. it is subject to timing issues and getting the things to, to work properly, but uh, it still can be really fast. So, and, and mostly accurate. Yes, it is. Awesome. It is. Thanks, Isaiah. That was a great, you know, <laughs> interesting thing that like, how, what are you like, what are you talking? I mean, and it was just so crazy that I happened to bring this up to you. And and then we're looking for it, and then here, like, we actually find your, you know, post from my same post yeah. from yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So, awesome. All right, thanks, man. There you go. You're welcome.